Today I'm going to show you how to use your Swift gas and electric hot water system. Pretty basic system to use, very very easy to get along with. This system here, what we use in our product, is a stainless steel hot water system. What that allows you to do is not stress too much about a sacrificial anode. It's not required. So this stainless steel system is a good 26 litre storage unit. Uh, it's an Australian made system and it's a really, really good hot water system. Very, very basic to use. You've got two functions and two switches. One electric and one's going to be gas. Very, very simple. I'm going to switch the gas one on first. And what you're going to listen out for is a bit of a click and then you're going to hear it ignite. And hopefully you can hear that on the recording. The light's going to flash red and it's going to keep flashing until it starts to ignite. Give it a few seconds and you'll hear it in a minute. Excellent. That's fired up first go. So basically that light there now is solid, which means the hot water system is on and operating and functioning as it should. Very, very basic to do. To switch it off, you can just turn it off. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to turn it on electric as well. You won't hear anything. It won't do a lot. What that's going to do is speed up the heating process. All right. So when you first get to site and you want to get your hot water system really hot, really quick, turn electric and turn gas on, and it will speed up the process of your hot water getting warm. When you're using this hot water system in electric, there's a couple of things you've got to make sure. Firstly, that the hot water system is full. Now, to do that, the best way to do it is to turn your hot water system tap on and run the hot water through the tap. If that tap's not spluttering and spurting, that means there's hot water in your hot water tanks and it's full. So that's always a good thing to check, especially when you first turn it on or if you haven't turned it on for a while or you've forgotten if you filled your hot water system tank up. The main reason you want to do that is because if you're running it on hot water and it's running on electric and it's empty, it will burn out your element. Very, very common problem if you forget that you've emptied out your tank and you've stored your van for a while. So just make sure you do that. Also with the electric, there's a little plug in this cupboard. Make sure that that plugs in and that's gonna make sure that you can use it on electric. 